during the setup phase of the golf swing, if we've understood how we're aiming the golf club already, the next thing to check on is the address position and the stance. Now the stance is quite important because obviously in golf we stand to the golf ball and we don't move around too much so once we're in our stance position we should be set ready to make the swing there's not too many adjustments that we make during the swing and also we need to consider how that stance can vary during different shots or vary during different clubs if i address the golf ball from this side i've got my feet pointing in the correct direction so i'm pointing towards my target i'm well aligned the next consideration here would be how wide apart should my feet be? So if I stand too wide, I'm going to have issues with rotating my body and balance. If I stand too narrow, I'm going to have massive problems with swaying unbalanced and not generating enough power. So very rarely would I ever say to a golfer, you need to stand wider or you need to stand narrower because they'll just keep going wider and wider or narrower and narrower. So what we do is we give you a checkpoint. Your checkpoint should be measure using your club, the outside width of your shoulders and then pinch the club. And that should be the inside width of your feet. So now I pop my feet down and I drop the club down and that gives me the perfect width of stance for all of my full swings. So my full swings would be from a full pitching wedge to a full mid iron are going to be this wide apart. If I'm hitting shorter shots, I might bring my feet a little bit narrower. And if I'm hitting driver shots, wood shots, I might take my feet a bit wider. Really simple checkpoint there. Put the club on the inside of your right foot or your rear foot. I'm a right-handed golfer, so it's my right foot. And just bring your foot in one. Now that would be a great position for me to hit a wedge from. So a slightly shorter pitching shot would be that slightly narrower stance. Back to my full width of stance and then go one more outwards. That's a slightly wider stance there. That's how I'm going to feel a bit more comfortable hitting my driver or my three wood off a tee peg. So a wider stance gives me a little bit more power. Narrower stance gives me less power and a little bit more control. Somewhere in the middle, which was, remember, shoulder width, check point. That's going to give me the correct stance for most of my full swings. Next consideration would be the angle of the feet. We don't want to see too much duck-footed nature like this. We tend to feel that the knees are going to slide outwards slightly. But if you feel comfortable, you could have five degrees on each foot or something like that. My personal preference is the rear foot to be square and the lead foot to be slightly open. That gives me the feeling like I can build power into my trail leg and then drive off through my trail leg into my lead side and open up a little bit more. If you have uh, hip mobility issues or knee issues, you might want to open that lead side another maybe 10 degrees to about 15 degrees open. That might help you roll through that lead side without having too many restrictions on that front leg. So go ahead now and consider the width of stance, the position and the angle of the feet to make sure that you can make the best swing from the best stance position possible for your golf.